and then he really loved basketball. He loved basketball day and night. He always had basketball. He even bring the basketball into the club when people was dancing, he had a basketball. He take the basketball with him in the bathroom. He take the basketball. He always had the basketball. So he became so successful that they said that he's one of the greatest basketball players in the world. So something occurred where a cop either abused some uh, a black person or killed a black person and then uh, people was doing a lot of things that was unjust so he became political and started becoming an activist for people and start talking about stopping racism and stopping police brutality and also stopping black on black crimes and he was he was speaking against black people killing other black people he was speaking against cops killing black people he was speaking against violence and things like that he became a political presence and he took himself very seriously so he was going on it satellite television radio stations magazines talking political very political and it made a lot of sense it was powerful statements he was saying and then a woman that was a reporter said about him why don't he just shut up and dribble his basketball and play basketball that's what he's good at and it outraged him because he takes himself very seriously and he is worried about the humanity. He's not just worried about black people. He's worried about all people, but he loves his black people more.